Okay, folks, I know I should have reviewed this movie a long time ago, but I'm just trying to get together and review as many movies as possible, and that is the 2017 release of Life, which is essentially Discount Alien, if Alien were a flower monster, on the International Space Station. And yes, this particular alien is not very frightening. I mean, it's... You take the origin story of species, okay, but then International Space Station it, and then it's not a hot chick that screws people, okay? So, alien species that's not a hot chick that screws people is brought back to life on the International Space Station, and because this is a dumb sci-fi movie, it runs amok. Now, Ryan Reynolds is in this film, <coughs> almost briefly, and he gets the, the definite species treatment from the alien. I'm not going to say that the alien in this particular film violates him, but it orally sort of violates him. So kind of a call back to Alien, the movie. Okay, and then, then you've got the other people uh, running about trying to beat this thing. And yes, okay, this is not anything new under the sun. It is a tired, tired genre. But you know what? I love sci-fi films. I actually kind of enjoyed Cloverfield Paradox, which is not terribly unlike this movie. I would say this is a little bit better than Cloverfield Paradox. Would I say it's a good movie? Eh. I say it's the kind of movie where I like to turn my head off, grab my coffee, because I watch this at night, eat my cookie, because they have these giant cookies at the vending machines at my work, and, you know, just enjoy myself. It's a guilty pleasure film, and all it really needs is, well, boobs. But what movie wouldn't be made better with boobs? Showgirls. No amount of boobs could save that turd. I'm Richard.